Welcome into the headlines, your quick look at the tackles, hits, checks, and dunks that make up the local sports scene. I am your host, Rich Reynolds, and as always, let's hit the ground running. It is the Cinco de Mayo edition of the headlines as we tip off our report with a snapshot of the NBA playoffs. More specifically, the Milwaukee Bucks, who have enjoyed a few days off in Beantown with a 2-1 series lead on the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference semifinals. After splitting a pair in Bruce City, thanks in part to a huge Game 2 from the Greek Freak, the Bucks pulled away in Game 3 without the services of Malcolm Brogdon. Giannis Adanakumpo did it mostly from the foul line as his 32 led all scorers. Game 3 featured a mind numbing 53 fouls, including 32 in the second half alone. George Hill had 21 points while Chris Middleton added 20. Game 4 is in Boston on Monday night. Now, as for Game 4 in the aforementioned Brogdon, there is a possibility that the popular guard will play. The president has missed the last 20 games with a torn plantar fascia. If Brogdon can go, it'll be interesting to see how healthy he is and how he's going to be used in head coach Mike Budenholzer's rotation, which has gotten used to Brogdon being out. However, if he is the same Brogdon as before the injury, it very well could be the piece that puts Milwaukee in place to win their first NBA title in nearly five decades. Hey, this past Saturday night in Titletown, former Green Bay Packers general manager Ted Thompson was enshrined in the Packers Hall of Fame. During his 13 seasons at the helm, the Packers went 125-82-1, made it to the playoffs eight straight years, won 10-8 and in playoff games, and won a Super Bowl. And I know I've missed a lot of April here at TVW following the Edgewood College baseball team, but... I'm back now as the season has come to an end. Yeah, although the record wasn't what Coach Al Brizak and the Eagles would have hoped for, as a freshman, my son Joey enjoyed an amazing year. Yeah, hitting well over 300 with an on-base percentage near 510 multi-hit games, including a four-hit game and a school record five-hit game. Not bad. Hopefully Joey will reproduce those stats as he plays summer collegiate baseball in Lynn, Massachusetts with the North Shore Navigators. Hey, for all the 411 on these headlines and more, please visit these fine websites. Stick around, it's interview time. We do that next on Wisconsin Sports on TVW.